With me now, Polina Karolina. It is so cool to have you here playing against Fritz19 against the little mouse, which is uh, the timid opponent. So um, let me ask you the first question. When you're playing a real game over the board and you know you're playing against an opponent, which is like technically weaker, probably uh, playing a bit fearful, how do you approach a game like that? It's kind of hard to, you, you shouldn't like risk too much to adopt to that because, you know, people can still play differently and a little less timid sometimes. Yes. So you should still be cautious. But I mean, yeah, maybe knowing that you can probably take a few more risks and stuff. Your ELO level is around 1800 to 2000. Yeah, something like that in this case. So I think I'm quite confident that you can beat them, uh, the timid opponent. Go for it. You can start. E4. Oh, it's the French defense. How do you play against the French normally? Oh, uh, I kind of go out of theory. It's still Ooh. theory, but <laughs> yes. more of a closed. No, not the D4 variation. <laughs> okay, well, this is going into something else. Yeah, <laughs> it's now more of the Sicilian. <laughs> now it's a Sicilian out of a sudden, yeah. So, how to approach that? Okay. Okay, good. So far, I think everything is fine. Ah, you're going for a little fianchetto. And out of a sudden, the mouse is out of book and gets a bit more scared, I guess. The right move, the position is equal. Well, that's, that's quite nice. <laughs> Black has only made pawn moves. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Secure the king and then you're done with the opening while Black still has... A lot to do, actually. So tell us about your plan after you have completed I mean, the opening. I mean, it's a bit slow on development. And I mean, I tend to play a four a lot. <laughs> but I think here it's, it's, it's quite good. It seems it, appropriate. <laughs> it looks like it's the right move for me. Yeah, I yeah. would have also gone for that too. Yeah, Black is already thinking. That's also a good sign. And another pawn move. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a bit strange. I would have I think B five would have made a bit more sense. Yeah, if you if you have that many pawns out, maybe. You, <laughs> but then, yeah, as we as we already established, this is a player who is a bit scared. Yeah, and, yeah uh, that makes sense. <laughs> that, that's, that's appropriate to the character then. <laughs> <laughs> and also, some kind of fianchetto. Well. You know, the good thing about this is, I mean, I guess whenever you ever played an engine, you will never have a position like this after just not even 10 moves. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's quite realistic, though, I guess, because... <laughs> it is, it is. I'll just play it to see what happens. It's, oh. it's not ideal, I think, but... Okay, that's... Okay, I get it. You, he wants to his bishop to have more control of the center, I guess. But you, that's a pretty weird place for the knight. You're giving the mouse a lot of credit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go for it. <laughs> I feel a bit bad for the mouse now. Yeah, it's it's a very sweet character. <laughs> yes, it's probably it's definitely the sweetest of all the characters we have here, or is it? Bishop makes a lot of sense. This is not a typical position at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Yeah, this is another thing I thought of. Bishop f6. So e5 seems very natural. Pawn takes. Actually, I think this definitely works. And there uh, are not the tricks. best. There are okay. some tricks. Because queen can go uh, to c5, give a check maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're still slightly better. Yeah. So, no worries. Okay. I mean, my idea was also if the bishop moves, we have this open, exactly. finally. Exactly. There's knight jumps. Of course, it's defending, but some ideas like that. Correct. Also, uh, I completely forgot, we can always do click and check. So have you ever tried that? Uh, no. <laughs> so what you do is you hover over the piece of your choice. Okay. And then you just uh, click on it. So you touch it and uh, then okay. wait. And if it tells you... What is a good move? What is what is a good move? What is a bad move? So here, of so course, taking is taking fine. Would be a good move, but of course, other <laughs> other pieces can also have a green, right? Just For example, curious. This, this yeah, one okay. not that much. 
the bishop also not. So you were absolutely right with yeah. the pawn take is a, is a very good op option. Mm -hmm. Rook d8 is a little bit of a threat, maybe at yeah. one point. Um, if he still plays rook d8, maybe there are some tricks with... But then he has the bishop c5, so it, it, there's nothing like that. Bishop c5 is uh, naughty. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I mean, look, I have a super simple plan. Mm -hmm. Queen e1 and then queen f2. That that makes perfect sense, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for it, because... <laughs> so this was a very... Did, we we're getting into the part of the game where a lot of decisive moves are made. Once we made the move, the mouse was, like, changing its face nonstop. Interesting. Well, well, well. Oh. Go with E3. <laughs> Precise play remains 2,660. Yeah, so, I mean, it would be so. lower a bit if I... <laughs> Bishop F2. Perhaps. <laughs> okay, that is interesting. Okay, well, Queen F2 should work here now. Absolutely. It's really... The I visuals mean, are, are, are great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is fun to watch them. <laughs> this is probably what happens the very first couple of times you look at nothing else. So, beware. This is just kind of one defender, two defenders, and there's a lot going on here. So, maybe it's good to just take this here so we kind of have stuff going on on both sides of the board. <laughs> Go for it. I just want to make a click and check to see. Uh, Shall yeah. we just like... That you, you can put it back one more time. And yeah, it was yeah. a good choice. Well done. Well calculated. I don't, I only see queen b8. Yeah, exactly. Taking the file is good. Taking you have our castles. Is this good. square is good for the rook. So castling would not really be possible there. Yeah, I think that's a very professional approach. It could do. Yeah, it's fine. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, I wish I would play over the board and have a position like this sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Say it straight. Okay, so he did castle. Hmm. Well, but, yeah. Let's just go for it. Your move was first in bishop c5 made total sense. Yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the mouse is in shock. Still calculating, <laughs> probably. Oh. So now it gets wild. Because there's a lot to calculate here still. It's... I mean, it's a good... Th I, I like the threat. I like the threat. Okay, that is... Unexpected. Yeah. Okay, so okay. now... I mean... I almost feel sorry for the character, though. Me too. <laughs> I, I completely agree. I'll do the mouse over it. It's not the best probably too early <sighs> i love the idea though so much shall we just yeah. do it nonetheless although yeah now we just did it okay. it's logical <sighs> i mean we could just win a piece on d6 right knight d6 i think it's yeah. just like but it looks also for a timid player it might be a bit more difficult i don't have anything else right I sometimes I feel like I miss some <laughs> yes. opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Because is, I've... <laughs> I'm also thinking about f seven the whole time. But no, let's just take it. Yeah, let's just take it. Okay, the knight will take on e five for sure, huh? That is a bit of I don't I don't even know why I did why I missed that. Mm -hmm. I think there are some ideas with bishop yeah. d six. Yeah. <laughs> I like bishop d6. I like bishop d6 too. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Will the mouse take on d7 now? <laughs> no. Wow. So first we have to take on e5, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because it but... it's directly attacking the queen, so... Yeah, yeah. That's, so they have that's to That's logical. That. Yes. And I think now the second 
logical move is taking on f7 after all, right? Yeah. And yeah. <sighs> Yeah, Paulina, make a, make a, make the, yeah, the forced exchange. I think there's no way mm -hmm. around it. So now we're in an end game out of a sudden. Yeah. I think we missed our chance a little bit, but it is still, I mean, we're still in attacking mode. We just have to keep this mm -hmm. up somehow. I thought of queen f2 and then rook f7. That's my initial plan. Let's see what what the what the engine says. Ooh, E4 is fine. That was so good. Like yours, yours is also good. Mm, so yeah. yeah, yours is better. Then let's go for C4. Her Elo is rising again for some reason. <laughs> Oops, Rook B2 is a little bit of a threat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's not a threat it's at all. Yeah. We're threatening checkmate if the rook ever goes there. I don't think I have to move my king. I can play rook f2. So hmm. queen f4 makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. It now I guess there's a check on c5. But that we can easily no. Okay, great. Perfect. <sighs> okay. <sighs> <laughs> that's a that's a very thank you mouse thank you i think we're on the right track now okay i, I mean taking back with the rook is, seems a much more logical <laughs> absolutely <laughs> we just do that well oh well okay well i'm uh yeah thank you <laughs> thank you again i think we can uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So now it's end games. It's end games, yes. And that I think the king has to oh, okay. activate. Look, I would have uh, I would have played c5 and rook c4. Okay. But activate your king. Go yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cuz I mean my my reasoning is he actually can't really move his uh, rook from here yet. Okay. You no. are correct. Very good. So we can just get rushed down. I think I can still have yeah. a uh, Let's go for it. I like, I think I'm pretty sure you're better in end games than me. So, <laughs> poor mouse in shock. Okay, that makes sense. That's okay. Yeah. I think I could just activate the king still. I don't need to push too quickly. True. I mean, rook c6 now. Yeah. Oh, okay. For some reason, I didn't see that. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. I think we can. Yeah. I mean, now black has to open G6, I, I guess. I could, or... I could push this, actually. That would be. Because he doesn't yeah, have so many you're right. moves. You're right. He could. Yeah. But then I have. It's one of those positions where it's very obvious that it's winning. <laughs> but like, but how? <laughs> you still have to do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, black is already in its Zugzwang. So the rook has yeah. to take care of the e6 pawn. The king cannot move out. So the black mm -hmm. has to move the pawns on g and h now. Or on a6. So a5 is a good move, I think. Mm -hmm. Imprecise. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the first black move. I think we can stop it with h4. But that is me. I'm a terrible endgame player. So maybe I'm making mistakes because after h5 h4 is actually not that good or is it i don't know i really don't know mm. i mean i think I, so i'm seeing it works. Yeah, okay <laughs> okay <laughs> maybe we have to concentrate <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean we could also go for our a pawn we could go rook d4 rook d6 rook takes a6 then it's in front of the pawn, which is stupid. Mm. All right, let's go. <laughs> mm. Well, good. That's uh, that is a thing I didn't. Let's let's go for the let's go for the check on on d yeah. seven. I think it's better. Ah, oh. why would? <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> it is 
is I mean, I'm happy for that, but yeah, so knight, I mean, king uh, d4 seems very logical now. King d4? Oh, I thought king f6. It's also possible to take... I like your idea with king d4. Okay. <laughs> rook takes h7, there's the huge threat of rook h8 check now. Yeah. Yeah, but now we, we just I, come back. Yes. So I think you as you said, you don't have to take. I mean, you don't have to take e5. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. go, for, go for it. You're really playing like the mouse. <laughs> go for it. No fear. Let's it's take, like let's, c5. Let's take, or the, taking. let's take the pawn on h7. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So okay. now now it's easy. King has to go to well, we could. No, uh, c5 is, I guess, well. I think e5. Is we enough. have, yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, now, okay. now we just win and push, right? I mean, this yeah. thing, this thing is over. Even if he takes on g3. Oh, it's easy. Mm -hmm. King f6. Threatening mate. Whoopsie. Okay, no problem. I mean, look at our pawns on G and H. Yeah, so we yeah. just take the, the G pawn, I would G say. G pawn, yeah. Good. I, G4, it's right? It's also possible yeah. to push, yeah. Let's go. White is winning. That was the good move. Mouse is devastated. You go with G5, probably. So, I just... Be careful with the e5. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I would go rook h5. <laughs> yeah, let's go rook h5. We made a mess now. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, good. Okay, then we just go back. It'll all win. Oops. Our rook is a bit blocked now. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> we give a check. Let's blitz this down now. We have to win this. There's some trick here, tactic. No, I think um, h5 might work. But I don't see it though. If h5, e4. I'm threatening this. e4. Takes, takes. Oh, yeah, his king. But I also, I come here probably faster. It's too much calculation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would rather take the rook to g8, probably. I think that's the safe path. I mean, we just take or not? Or uh, is, there, is there a stalemate again or something? No, no. No, no. Okay, good. It's just one of those positions where you feel like, okay, I want to be precise just in case. <laughs> yeah, G5. G5. Yeah, let's go for it. Doesn't matter. Rook mm -hmm. E8, I don't know. Or D8, yeah. Wow, Rook E8 is not as good as D8. That's also... Rook D... Uh, Rook D5 as I think is the king can... Uh, yeah. But now they can... will take on H4. So we have to get our Rook back again to d4 i think it's important and then we can put uh, put our rook to a4 mm -hmm. and get our king behind oh but the king goes there no that doesn't win because the rook can just go back and forth now i think a uh, king here and then put the rook behind it we're okay. Ah, endless rook checks. Is that the path? Fine with me. But now the king can just no go way. to e7, I guess. Yeah. Oh! No. <laughs> <laughs> Something went wrong here. <laughs> and check. F8? This looks like endless rook checks. <laughs> Up two pawns and... But what happens yeah, if we're coming closer to e7? What happens? I don't... And now, what happens if we're going to d6? I don't see it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is fine. I think... This king is a really nice place. Mm-hmm. 
but it doesn't matter now because now we were winning the a6 pawn too yeah so the rook just has to go to i don't know a4 i guess yeah i'm not completely sure we're winning that pawn i'm sure we are <laughs> i think he didn't play it precisely honestly <laughs> yeah absolutely not okay let's go back one more time like yeah he goes there. back there though ah okay h5 and uh, maybe that's something you would do from okay because then he doesn't okay we have to okay. win this <laughs> where am i trained of thought um <laughs> so can i ask you what happens after rook h1 yeah king g6 h5 check king takes g5 h6 rook goes to b8 h7 rook goes to h8 king goes to b6 we get the second pawn and we win it it, it does seem like that but yeah but it isn't apparently <sighs> i think we, we we have to okay, because they will take the pawn on a5 now yeah yeah but i think there might be some drawish um in game there but that's why I kind of would prefer to give up this pawn instead of uh, this one, mm -hmm. uh, just so it's not here. Um, uh, but you know, like I'm thinking of yeah, five. I think I think it's actually fine. Wow. Yeah. Was this really the right idea? Can't yeah. Believe it. Um, my thing is that I'm thinking I I could play it there now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wow. No, it just yeah. take. Did we just solve it? Wait, yeah. wait, wait don't, don't go there. Yeah. Don't go there. Don't go there. Oh, okay, okay. It, it's it's fine. Right. Yeah, you I know? mean, because I think so. I, I, I study this, but yeah, I should okay. be careful because okay, it's, okay, it's okay, easy okay. to confuse draws with wins. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, okay. The pawn is far enough. Okay, good. Go for it. Go king b7. Let's just do it. Because, I mean, okay, well, it's probably easier to play here, though. It, it's more accurate, it is actually. But then here, here, yeah, yeah. I would do this. Yes. Rook C1 wasn't good. Okay. Just don't make a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there is a just... precise way to do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no problem at all. We, we, I'm, I'm far too. I'm also playing like a mouse. Our rook <laughs> is behind the pawn. We can just move with our king to uh, e e5. Mm -hmm. There's no checks anymore. At one point, the rook has to go to a8. Then we go back with the king, and we won. I'm right. Or like this. It's even easier. Now we can, yeah. Well, right. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> okay, can you check mate with the rook and the king? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh, wow, what a battle. Uh, so don't, don't fall for any, any uh, draw <laughs> tricks. Okay, oh great. wow that was uh, <laughs> actually really good technique <sighs> what a battle this was by far the most intense game so far and uh yeah with a little help thank you everybody for watching thank you paulina and thank uh, you yeah i wonder how you are playing against the strong club player against the timid mouth yourself bye bye